They call him Jesus. He came to love. He'll ever give. He lived and died. To buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior Cause he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds the future, and life is worth. I <clears throat> I am on my second glass of that Mullen tea. Um, if you don't see the video today, then I think I'll put it up tomorrow, but I'm going to try to put it up today. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'll try to put it up before I put this one up. Alright, we are on Leviticus 20. Alright, here we go. And the Lord spoken to Moses saying, again... Thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. Boy, wouldn't we like to go up there and do some stoning in the... Uh, Words going on. <laughs> Number three. And I will set my face against that man. And I will cut him off from among his people. Because he hath given of his seed to Moloch. To defile my sanctuary. And to profane my holy name. What's going on? Quit. And if the people of the land do any way hide their eyes from the man, then he giveth of his seed to Moloch, and kill him not. Then I will set my face against that man, and against his family, and I will cut him off, and all that goes a whoring after him, to commit harm with Moloch from among their people. Now, politicians, anybody that likes to um, say it's okay for abortion. You, the abortion people, are sacrificing their children to Moloch. That is the new Moloch way of sacrificing. Killing children in general is sacrificing to Moloch. Who is Moloch? Moloch is a um, calf god. And he has his hands out like this. And you put the baby on him and he's really hot because they put a fire in him. And when the babies are laying there and burning and all and screaming, they're playing music really loud that the parents can't hear what is going on. And the baby is really actually screaming in pain. <clears throat> All right, number six. And the soul that turneth after such have a familiar spirit and after wizardry to go a whoring after them. I will even set my face against that soul and I will cut him off from among his people. Oh, that is a big one. And I'm going to tell you. You're not going to believe me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. You have it every day. When you turn that television set on, then you have got familiar spirits. If you go and you hunt up these people, and all you will say, you will hear them say, I sold my soul to the devil. You will hear them say it. All you have to do is put it in a search engine, and you will find it. Number seven. 
Sanctify thyself therefore and be ye holy, for I am holy. The, I am the Lord your God. So how do you make yourself holy? You read his word, you find out what he wants out of you. And that is to stay away from, right now I'm going to call it politics. TV. When um, Ronald Reagan was had, had run for president, and somebody asked him, what makes you think that you can be president? And he said, because I'm an actor. So that tells me there that, hey, look, what goes on, these politicians ain't nothing but actors. That's all they're up there for is acting. They're up there for the mighty dollar of acting. <clears throat> Number eight. And you shall keep my statues and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. For every one that curses his father or mother shall surely be put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. If you, as a teenager, have something against your parents' upbringing and all, <clears throat> and they say, hey, look, you don't need to go to no football games because them football games, you're going to end up getting hurt. Uh, football games ain't nothing but it's just to take your mind off of the real important stuff that's going on in your life. Okay? All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> now I know you want it out. Try to do that before I sit down here. Okay. <clears throat> Number 10. Any man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress should surely be put to death. Why? Because she done defiled herself with this other man. Now, I'm not just talking about rape. This is willingly sex. <clears throat> and the, the man that lieth with his father's wife, his mother, or his stepmother, hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrong confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. It brings confusion. Anything that has confusion in it is not of God. Okay? And there's a lot of it. Alright. <clears throat> if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man take a wife and her mother is wickedness, they shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. When... Um, Oh, Kennedy, when he was going to marry Jacqueline, and my mom was the one told me this, said that uh, Kennedy's dad took Jacqueline in the bedroom and had sex with her and told, him, told Kennedy that, uh, that she would be a good woman for him. Now, I don't know about all that. I wasn't there. But now the fact is sitting. Um, if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. In other words, oh man, I could, I could go on with this. They are trying to push bestiality. They're trying to push child... Um, the age of 12 that they could consent to be go to bed with a 35 year old or a 65 year old and they're trying to push for that 
<clears throat> All right, 16. And if a woman approach unto the beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. <clears throat> yeah. That is really confusion to the animal. Um, I had this cousin that had a dog. And she had sex with this dog. And when she got a hold of a boyfriend, that dog almost ate him alive. Because that dog did not want to give up what it was getting. <clears throat> okay. 17. And if a man shall take his sister his father's daughter or his mother's daughter, and they see her nakedness, and she <clears throat> see his nakedness, it is wicked thing, that they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He hath uncovered his sister's nakedness, and he shall bear his iniquity. And if a man shall lie with a woman having her sickness, and shall uncover her nakedness, he hath discovered her found found a fountain, and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood, and, and both of them shall be cut off from among their people. Uh, this is talking about when a woman is on her period. You shouldn't have sex with a woman on a period. Now, I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> I had in what, you call, what they called endometriosis back in the old days. And I'm going to tell you, I hurt. I hurt bad. And I found out that sex would ease the pain. And it did. It did. But whenever I started learning about this, I quit because I didn't know any better. And I'm, I'm only telling you what I know. But, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it did help my, what they call endometriosis now, cancer. Okay. 20. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, he hath uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. And if a man shall take his brother's wife, it is unclean thing. And he hath uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. He shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them. That the land, whether I bring you to dwell therein, spew you out. Spew you not out. In other words, don't do these things or else the land, if you do them, the land was going to spew, uh, spew you out. And he shall not walk in the manners of the nations, which I cast out before you. For they commit all these things, and therefore abhorred abhor them. Now, we know that Israel has turned her back on all of this now. 24. But I have said unto you, you shall inherit, inherit their land, and I will give it to you to possess it, a land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, which has separated you from other people. See, he separates you. You shall therefore put, put differences between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not... Make your souls abominable by beast, or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth upon the ground, which I have separated you from as unclean. <clears throat> and you shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord. I am holy, and I have served you from other people, that ye shall be mine. A man also, or woman that hath familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall beat upon them. We'll do 21 tomorrow. I want to do a prayer for Cadence. She is going into the hospital. She has a
temperature of a hundred and one almost uh, it's a it's a hundred one point something temp and a uh, hundred and two actually. And she can't keep no food down, so we're gonna pray for her. My heavenly father. God I pray right now for my little granddaughter. Lord, she's in your hands. No matter what happens, she's in your hands. And that I'm thankful. But I pray that you'll touch her in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. This is how to donate to my PayPal. You come down here to Poor Man's Sewing. And you mash on Poor Man's Sewing. Then you go over here to About. You mash on About. And right here is to donate to Poor Man's Sewing. 